Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Word and Worship with Ayobola. Last week, I began to ask the question, where is the money? Where is my riches? Show me the money. And I said those questions were not the correct or the right questions to be asking. Rather, we should be asking, where is the kingdom of God? Because the Bible says that we should seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and every other thing will be added unto us. And so now again, you're asking, where is the kingdom? How can I tell the kingdom of God? How can I actually find it to begin to seek it and begin to get all those things that I require for life? You see, the Pharisees also asked the same question. They asked Jesus that same question in Luke chapter 17 uh, from verse 20. And it says, Once, on being asked by the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God will come, Jesus replied, the, kingdom of the, uh, the coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can, that can be observed, nor will, nor will people say, here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. So again today, you are asking, as the Pharisees asked, so where is the kingdom? So I can actually go in and begin to seek the kingdom and then begin to get all the other things that I require for life. But Jesus is saying, you people, you think that it is when you observe certain things. You think that it is when you do a uh, certain behavior, when you follow certain rules, that you'll find the kingdom. He says, no, that is not the way to find the kingdom. He says, actually, Jesus is saying, actually, the kingdom is within you. The kingdom is amidst you. The kingdom is just already around you, but you are blind to see it. And it says in uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, it says, you see, I stand at the door and I'm knocking and anybody who opens his heart, I will come in and dwell with him. And he's saying uh, to, to the Pharisees that, you know, I am knocking, but you are not opening up. And yet you are saying you are asking for the kingdom, but I am already here. I am already a, you are not going to enter the kingdom of God. You are not going to, you are not going to um, attain all the wealth and all the riches according to the kingdom of God that you desire unless you let me in. The kingdom of God is not about you seeking to enter in by, the, by, 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 by fulfilling certain tradition, by, by just um, obeying certain laws. But the kingdom of God will come to you when you open your heart unto me. Again, when we go to um, John chapter 3, Jesus was telling Nicodemus, because Nicodemus was also asked, he was also looking for the kingdom of God. Nicodemus was very learned, but he knew that he was still missing something. And Jesus said to him in John chapter 3, verse 3, and he answered him and said unto him, most assuredly, I say to you, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Again, in verse 5, it says, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you are born of water and spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So you see, you are looking for riches. You are looking for money and you can only get it by seeking the kingdom of God. But Jesus is saying for you to enter the kingdom of God, you don't actually enter the kingdom of God by certain rules, by traditions, by, by, by certain behavior, but you enter into the kingdom of God. You enter into the, the, the domain of God by allowing me to come into your heart. Then you will see the kingdom of God. Then you will enter the kingdom of God. Then you will begin to acquire all the riches and all the blessings and all all the goodies that God has in plan for you. So if you want to come into the into the kingdom of God and get all the riches that God has promised you, you have to open the door of your heart and let God come into the domain of your heart and reside in, in the domain of your heart and then he will begin to teach you and he will begin to lead you into all those wealth and all those riches that you require from the kingdom of God. I hope this has really blessed you. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next week in Jesus' name. Bye for now.